Yo, welcome back, Spaceology, and today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a particularly long time, looking at two characters from the Marvel Universe versus the DC Universe, two characters I know a lot of people have always thought about, who's better, and what we got here on one hand is, you know my man right there, Prince Namor, okay, the Atlantean, and then also beyond that, you got Aquaman of the Justice League, right, two very notable characters, though Aquaman is more well-known character probably a little more well respected around the world of heroes um you know name for those who know marvel universe even though he hasn't displayed in the new uh, in, uh incarnations of the films you know namor is in there you know, namor's connected to the avengers namor's connected to the fantastic four namor's connected to x-men so namor is out there he's connected to captain america from back in the day when they were fighting the war so namor has been around there for a minute you know he's been a friend and he's been an enemy and we also know about Aquaman. And Aquaman, obviously, you've been like a founding member of the Justice League. You've written on some of the tightest missions, most important things. And you've had your beef. Depending on what story, you've had your beef with mankind as well. And both of them have. And that's, that's kind of good. And when we start looking at these two characters, obviously, there's some similarities. Both being aquatic or having aquatic base powers. And in that becomes a really good scene for a fight. Who would win if these two guys fight? And looking at that, there's a lot of similarities in, in how they operate and how they move. Now, I think there's definitively some advantages for Aquaman. We're going to address this right up front. That Aquaman has the ability to manipulate water and sea life in a way that Namor doesn't. So those, that's going to be a clear advantage for him. But on the other side, I look at Namor and I'm like, not only are you an Atlantean, you're half human. But you're not just half human, you're actually a mutant, right? Like Namor has... Uh, attributes that neither Atlanteans or humans have which is why he has those wings on his ankles right and he can fly so I, I think that's you know that's kind of saying a little bit more about Namor's actual makeup okay so if we really start getting into it you know so we see a little bit of difference Aquaman obviously you have a, a clear advantage in the water Namor though has the ability to fly and I think that can be useful in a battle now, both of these guys are super tough guys. I mean, they've been through the scraps. But we've seen Namor fight more tough opponents. I mean, like, Namor's banged it out with the Hulk. Namor's banged it out with Thor one-on-one. -on -one, and held his own for the most part. Whereas I know Aquaman is a very legit warrior. I don't know if he's quite on that level. In fact, I don't think he's on that level. I couldn't really see him matching up against... Uh, uh, Superman or someone in that category in that universe, whereas like Thor and the Hulk clearly were in that class. So I think Namor is definitively a tougher, uh, you know, headier scrapper in terms of how he fights. And then I think in the actual strength competition, I, I do give a slight nod to Namor. I think he's a little bit stronger than Aquaman. Not much, but you know, I think Aquaman's rated at like 60 tons, somewhere in the range he can lift. Whereas MCU rates my, my Namor closer to 70, 75, kind of depend on the situation, right? So strength won't be such a big thing because Aquaman does have a big equalizer here, and that's in his trident, which is a magical trident that enhances his power, but also gives him some additional powers that he doesn't have. That's a real advantage because Namor every now and then will carry a trident, but doesn't really do anything. I mean, he's good at fighting with it. But there's no enhancements that come along with that. He doesn't have a, a, a belt of strength or a hammer. Right? So Aquaman definitely takes that battle on having better equipment, maybe being a little more ready for that fight. But at the end of the day, man, Namor is just a more ruthless individual. We've seen some of the stuff that Namor's done. Namor nearly destroyed uh, Wakanda, which is a technologically advanced civilization. Right? Namor's got all kinds of war crimes. So I think at the added strength, the ability to fly outside the surface of the water, a little bit more ruthlessness. I think these are the key to giving us a big Namor victory over Aquaman. Although we're the opponent, I'm just going to go ahead and give this nod to Namor right now. Hopefully one day the universe will give us this fight so we can prove whether this is right or wrong. At any rate, thank you for stopping in space. Al Gianni's. As always, check out some of the other videos, man. Like and subscribe. We'll be talking more about sci-fi comics and whatever comes to mind.